to see you, man. Good to see you, man. Um, just like I said, happy to have a conversation and talk about Arena Club. Yeah. Um, just uh, what got you involved in uh, getting into the car collecting space? Well, I first met Brian Lee. Um, this was 2014, I believe. Right after I retired at an event um, in Vegas, and. Uh, didn't know his success as an entrepreneur and uh, sort of reconnected years later and uh, he was telling me about Arena Club and it sort of hits home for me because I had, when you're young, right? yeah, I stumbled over that one. Still when young. you're young, thank you, thank you. <laughs> still you, thank you. Uh, but when you're younger, when you're starting off your career, when you get baseball cards, you know, it's back then, I don't know how they do it now, but they used to send you a bunch of them, rookie cards. They'd send you like 20 of them on your own. You could keep it. So my mom, my parents used to collect all the memorabilia and the cars and everything, and we had a flood in our house. Everything got ruined. So I lost a lot, a lot of memorabilia and baseball cards and everything. So when I was having this conversation with Brian, he was explaining it to me and hit home. And said it before, the trading card was almost like a secret society for years, and it's come to the forefront now. No, it's, uh, it's, it's really cool. You know, you talk about the value of cards, and uh, you said you had your own collection and such. Just, uh, just, uh, I just kind of want to get your, um, just your opinion on just how you see like where security is, and, and I was just having this conversation with Jesse as well. That security and everything that goes into Arena Club, making sure that it is a marketplace that everyone feels safe on. Yeah. Is that something that meant a lot to you when you said you wanted to get involved as well? Yeah, of course. Yeah, honesty, transparency. I think those are the key. Uh, you want to obviously safety number one. You want to know if you're giving someone your cards to vault that you can get them back when you want them in the same condition that you sent it to them. So I think there was uh, you know, I'm not talking to any other companies that are out there, but I think there was a lot of confusion sometimes, especially when you start talking about the grading, right? Like why? What's the reason for a particular grade? You really wouldn't get a reason for it. So we wanted to bring honesty and transparency into the into the uh, into uh, Okay, and then I have to ask Alex, what was your, if you would say, can you say you did click a little bit, what was your most prized uh, card my that you got? Stuff. Your own stuff? Just <laughs> my own stuff. I used to just love the old school rookie cards, and I remember seeing rookie cards when I first came out, and just disappointed in some of the pictures, but I had them all, right? I had, you know, a couple cards that had uh, my high school uniform on, mm -hmm. and couple of funky poses. There's one high school it's a tops card where there's dandelions in the field behind it. It was a high school field until you can find it. Yeah, that's a good one. And I, I, I have to ask, but I, I also covered Chiefs. You don't have to ask. Oh, okay. Well, I, I would like that. I love if he was a half to ask. You know, I don't really have to. Yeah, yeah. I, would, I would like to ask if Mahomes, and he is a yeah. captain on the Chiefs. And I just Curious your thoughts. What quality, in your opinion, makes him a uh, good a good um, captain for the success they've had so far? First of all, that's all he talks about. You know, I mean, you see how he plays on the field, and he's, he's there. Right? He plays every day. I mean, you have to be present. Uh, I think teammates can count on. But everything that comes out of his mouth is always about winning. Not anything personal. And I think that rubs off on the rest of the organization. Not only just your teammates. And then obviously going for the three peat, never been done in the NFL. Uh, you obviously were a part of the three peat, the Yankees. Is there a certain mindset or um, a way of going about things that a team has to have in order to uh, achieve that? Yeah, you have to stay hungry. You know, I was telling someone um, yeah, about a couple of weeks ago that we, we won championships. No one walked around with a championship ring on. It was over with. You know, it doesn't make a difference that you won. Nobody cares when you're playing a new season. So you have to stay hungry. And I think uh, the more success you have, at times that can be more challenging. Thank you so much yeah, for your time. Yeah, of course, man. Nice to meet you, man.